Welcome uh, to a demonstration this morning. We're gonna describe our care for the mahogany doors outside finish. We do a lacquer interior finish on the inside. In this case, we're gonna be demonstrating what we typically do for the exterior of a pair of front doors, especially some high-end stained front doors. So we're using, today we're using the, uh, the Daily Seaf Antique Oil. This is a product that's very thin. It's applied, um, we're gonna show you the application method in just a second, but we typically put on a minimum of five coats and sometimes up to seven coats. Um, this product in, at 70 degrees needs to dry overnight for 24 hours. But as you can see, it's coming up on November now, so it's a little bit chilly. So we're gonna probably give it two to three days per coat to make sure that all the oil's off gas and we don't have what's called uh, solvent entrapment. So um, I'm gonna access, because this is a demonstration, we're gonna access part of the door. Be very careful not to touch the door with the knife. Because these are mahogany doors, very porous, and the stain we put on here has got um, some pigment to it. If I just use a rag only, I run the risk of pulling the stain because the stain is also solvent-based and if I put a solvent-based product on here, I could accidentally pull the stain out. So I'm gonna apply this, in this case this morning, with a bristle brush. So we're gonna, we're gonna applicate it gently, but we'll put the, the clear in our bucket first. And then we'll gently use a rag uh, to mop up the extra. So what we're gonna do here, Ray. Okay, so the lid's off, that was the hardest part. One of the things most people aren't aware of is that we don't pour out of the spout, okay? Uh, we do, but we pour backwards. So air, if you pour this way, what looks like upside down, you won't spill. Okay, so you come off backwards, that way the air is trapped on the other side and you won't get a dribble. If you come off the front end, you'll, it gets quite messy. So I'll set this aside. I've got a, a clean bucket here to work out of. I've got my brush, this is very runny as you can see as that came in. So I'm gonna put very little product on here. And my goal is to, is to get a feel for how it runs and see how that's gonna start running down the door. And I don't wanna spend a lot, of, oops, see there it's running. So I'm gonna get up here and unload this. Just kind of work it and it doesn't, it doesn't need much. A little bit goes a long way. And then I wanna get these you have to make sure that you get the oil on every single surface. You can actually apply an excess amount and it won't hurt anything, um, but you do have to pull all the excess off. I'm doing the demonstration on a panel so I can, I can leave the sheen in one location and not have a problem rather than have it touch an area and have too many coats in one spot. So I'm, I'm waiting for the, I'm waiting, um, uh, actually watching the wood turn dark so I know that I've hit that area. Finish these areas off. Thank you, Ray. Checking my bristles to see if I'm getting any stain residue. They'll show up in the product if it's, if it's re-wetting the oil. And right now that's a good sign that the stain isn't showing up on the bristle. I make sure I have plenty on there. I'm doing that again one more time. Should I get that corner real good? Now that I've done that, I'll set this aside carefully. And I'll take this rag very carefully now to wipe up the extra. And I'm checking to see if I'm getting any stain residue here. See if it's re-wetting that. If the stain is re-wetting. So this first coat is just, I don't want to really work it in really hard. I just want to make sure I get the excess off. And um, these thin products can get trapped in these little grooves and they can leak out a little later. So you want to, in about five, 10 minutes, you want to come back and see is it, is it leaking out of those and just really quickly take a little part of your, your rag and just mop up that little bit of excess. And after that, that's all there is to it. You've applied your first coat of Seafin Teak Oil.